Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today's video is a Halloween makeup tutorial on this angel makeup look. This does not have to only be for an angel. You could literally swap out your costume and the makeup works for a mermaid, an ice queen, you know, whatever you want it to be, it would work. This video is extra exciting because it's in collaboration with my very good friend, Amanda Devon. I will link her channel up in the top right hand corner as well as down below in the description box, but she's going to be doing a fallen angel makeup tutorial. Just this on the dark side. Make sure you go and subscribe to her channel, check out her video, leave a sweet comment, send her some love. She's just starting out her channel and she's really, really kicking ass at it and I'm so proud of her. So yeah, before we get started, I do have to say that regardless of what I do in this tutorial, if you are going to be using anything with rhinestones, you need this guy right here. This will grab and pick up all of your rhinestones and it's pretty much necessary for this look. And if you have children, Make sure they are somewhere else because you will be cursing these rhinestones to death. Just saying. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and let's get started. So I'm going to be checking a lot to make sure that I'm in focus because in my last Halloween video for the intro and the outro, I was not in focus at all. So awesome. Um, I had two different bodysuits that I planned on wearing. Um, if one didn't work out, I had a backup and both of them looked like crap. So we're going to go the naked angel route cherub style. So let's do this. For this, I'm just not 100% sure where this is going to go. If at any point you just hear like music playing, it's because I'm getting into my creative groove. So I'm going to start by priming my skin. You can use whatever primer you have that works. Um, I'm just using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. By the way, these are some fake press-on nails. I always wear press-on nails, but this brand I'm not a huge fan of. I would not recommend for using more than one day in a row, but I will link these down below if I can find them online. I just found them at Sally's. I normally use the Kiss brand. These are not them. Um, these are super thick, so they don't like look super natural up close, but for Halloween, if you need some fake nails, these are way cheaper than going and getting your nails done. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Swan. I'm going for that very light foundation effect again today. So I'm going to pump this on the back. Actually, eh. Before I do that, I wanna go into the MAC Strobe Cream. This is a little sample that I got. This is in the pink light one. So really quick before I go in with foundation, I'm just going to pop this here on the high points of my face. And now going in with the foundation and I'm just blending it in with my beauty blender. And since we're going the naked route, I'm just bringing this foundation all over my chest with a brush to give that nice smooth airbrushed finish. I wanted to use my MAC concealer that I just got because it's pretty light. I just can't freaking find it anywhere. I'm gonna be going into the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color light. And eventually, I'm probably gonna be mixing in a little bit of white paint to lighten up the high points of my face, but I'm gonna see what this looks like first. So I'm going to apply this underneath and I might be applying, well, I'm not gonna say might, I will be applying a lot just because I want the skin to be very, very flawless. Just blending this in with my sponge and also bringing it over the eyes or eyelids, whatever. I also made sure to get everything off of my eyelashes, any like leftover mascara or lash glue or residue. I mean, you're supposed to do that every night, but you know, sometimes there's a little extra leftover. So I really made sure to go in and make sure my lashes were really, really clean because we're gonna go for really, really light lashes today. I'm just going in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is what that looks like. I just want to see what this looks like mixed in with my concealer here. Um, I'm going to go in with this instead of the cream paint just because I don't want to apply too much. And I think this will do the job. I'm also going to go back into that strobe cream and apply it with my beauty blender over the cheekbones again. And like around the brow nails. I'm going to take whatever's left on my hand with the strobe cream and bring it on my collarbones because now that I'm naked, we're going to have to do some chest work. I also have this, I think it's CoverGirl. It doesn't say CoverGirl on it, which is very weird, but it says Vitalist. So I'm guessing that it's CoverGirl, but it says Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter. So this is what this looks like. This looks a lot like the strobe cream, but it has a little bit of glitter in it. So I'm gonna apply this on there as well. I'm trying to get in here with my fingers and go over my cheekbones with this too. Oh, yes, that is gorgeous. 
Um, I think I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrow. Actually, I'm lying to you. I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder just so that all of this stays. Use whatever powder you have. This is just for me for filming because if I don't set this, I will get extremely oily in 20 minutes. <laughs> and I'm not gonna set where I put all that glowy shit on my cheekbones. So for bronzer, because I do wanna be a little bronzed, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Nude Bronze Light. This one is a little bit more cool toned. It's not so orangey or anything. So I'm gonna use that to bronze up my skin. And to contour, I'm gonna use the S116 Contour Powder from Makeup Forever. I'm also gonna use the H104 powder right now to set the under eyes just right here with the under eye setting powder because I don't wanna go over the highlight products. And then for the contour, I'm gonna use my NARS Eda brush. I'm going for a really strong nose contour because what I have envisioned in my head right now is sort of like a super harsh cut crease eye look that almost like goes into my nose contour. We'll see how it goes, but that's kind of what I have envisioned at the moment. And then we'll end it away. This is the 235, right? 235? No. <laughs> e, F, F35 from Sigma. You know, I think if I used one brand of brushes, it'd be easier to memorize what the brushes were, but they all start with something different. They all say something different. Different brands do different things, so it gets so freaking confusing. All right, I wanna bring in a little bit of a cooler contour, kind of like what I did with the dead person. I know they're like totally different looks, but just bear with me. I think, I think I, I know what I wanna do. And if this goes bad, and it goes bad, cause I don't have time to take this off. <laughs> so we're gonna go into the bandwagon eyeshadow that I used in the dead person tutorial to contour with. And I'm gonna try that again today and go a little bit more cool toned with this. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna use my Sigma F05 small contour brush. Hit this in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm also gonna do the same thing to my lips. Give myself that big lip look without lining my lips. I still don't really know what I'm gonna be doing to my lips. I'm pondering the idea of putting rhinestones all over them, but that is annoying to wear. Like, I think it'd be cool for pictures, but I don't think any of you guys are gonna wanna do that to go out to a party or anything for Halloween. That would be so annoying. Now I'm just going in and starting to do some contouring on my chest again. This is gonna be now, I'm not gonna go as intense as the dead person because obviously we ain't dead. We are very much alive in this one. But since I'm naked, I need a little something going on down here. So I'm just gonna do some light chesticle contouring. The coolness for this one is just gonna be going for more of that angelic look. Once we're all done with it, I feel like it's all gonna come together. I'm quickly gonna go into that CoverGirl Vitalist cream deal. And I'm gonna put this on all of the high points just with my fingers and I'm gonna use my fingers too to blend it in. Now on my clavicle bones, I'm gonna use this NYX glitter primer and this new glitter from Anastasia. This is in the color Crystal Cave. They did send me the glue that goes with this, but I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. So I'm gonna put the glue down first and then layer the glitter on top. I also mixed in a little bit of MAC Reflex Pearl. I'm gonna use this brush. This is actually a Morphe brush. This is the M510 brush. This came in my boxy charm. So I'm gonna pop this here right on top of that highlight there and just apply like a bunch of it and kind of halo it around the brow. I'm gonna go into Becca Foxglove blush. This is pretty bright blush, but I'm using this Sephora 93 brush. I'm grabbing like a tiniest, tiniest amount. And I'm going to lightly feather this right here on the apples of the cheeks. I usually bring this on an angle, but I don't want much blush. I want this to be mainly very neutral, but I feel like I need a little bit of color in here just so it's not so dead. You know, it needs a little bit of liveliness. So just a hue. That's good. Nice and frosty. All right, let's zoom in. I'm actually gonna use the same brow pencil that I used in my last Halloween video. This is Medium Brown Brow Wiz from Anastasia. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Paint Truly Paint Pot. And I think I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk with it. I'm gonna set all that with my face powder. And then I'm gonna grab that Milk Jumbo Pencil and go all over my eyelashes. And this is when we really start to look crazy. 
So I'm also bringing it down here, putting it in the waterline, pull up in my lashes, coat the underside too. Ooh, my eyes are like red right now. Wow, my teeth look super yellow next to like the white stuff going on. For my eyes, I'm going to do a cut crease that goes into my nose contour. So I'm actually going to start off with that same bandwagon shade. This is from Makeup Geek. This is my E25 from Sigma. I'm just going to use this and start actually over here. I'm going to start connecting that into my crease here and then I'm going to sketch it all the way out to over here so we're gonna bring it here and just start pushing that up there at kind of like a diagonal and this is a cool toned brown and because it's cool toned it almost pushes a little bit or not pushes but pulls a little bit more um, purpley okay, I'm gonna blend that out now with whatever's left on my brush haven't switched brushes just used all the product on it, so now we're just buffing that out. So I'm just going to grab this Makeup Geek pencil brush, and I'm using the same bandwagon shade. And I'm actually going to bring this right where like you feel your eyeball stop, your actual eyeball, which is kind of like down here, kind of like in your eye bag area. That just makes the eye look a little bit bigger. All of that's white in there, so it makes it look like you're lash lines actually down here because we whited out our real lashes buff that out and connect it out here i think i'm gonna go into faux fur from makeup geek i'm gonna use that pencil brush from makeup geek bring this right at the edge and start really outlining the shape that you want blending it out so i'm not going to my outer corner i'm going further than my outer corner over here it looks so crazy right now but over here I feel like it looks really cool once you put the lashes on it'll all kind of come together I'm gonna grab this shadow so random I hope it's still out but this is shadowy lady from Mac it's a deep 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 purple gray I'm gonna very lightly bring this into the crease it's like almost like a black purple gray and blend it out Okay, I'm going to cut this to make it really, really precise I'm gonna be using this number 76 gel liner from Inglot all right, I'm going to use my concealer so that it can save it the day because this was a little bit too thick. I wouldn't recommend doing that. And then I can go over it with the white. I'm now gonna go in with the Milk Jumbo Pencil. I'm just using my E15 brush from Sigma to define this lower fake lash line deal. So I have hella rhinestones. I've got Swarovski ones. These are actually kind of expensive. I got them at Michael's. I also got these two packs at Michael's as well. We've got these weird ones, which not sure if I'm going to use them, but then I've got these. These are some pearls. I got this jumbo pack from Michael's as well. These could be used like on the body. There's also some bigger pearl ones here too. And then I got this at Sally's. This is actually for nails, but there's some really teeny tiny baby ones in here. And this also is a like rhinestone grabber tool so hopefully i'll be able to pick it up and pop it on easier if you end up recreating this look you're most definitely going to need one of these little rubber applicator things for applying the rhinestones i don't know why i thought that i was going to be able to do it without it and i'm so glad i picked it up today i got mine from sally's okay i think that looks pretty badass i'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera because that took freaking forever and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna go in and apply these Kryolan lashes. I have a Kryolan store in downtown Chicago, so I can just head there and grab them. You can also get them on their website, but do not order them from Amazon because I tried to order the bottom ones from Amazon and a completely different pair got shipped to me than was advertised. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I mean, unless you feel like taking the risk, but you could honestly make your own lashes. Just pick up a pair from whatever store color them with white face paint or a white eyeliner and then glue some rhinestones on and then you'll have your own pair of really unique eyelashes. All right, I just realized that the microphone was not on, um, but I just filled in my lips with the Nude Suede Shoes lip liner from NYX and I'm gonna go over top of it with a Flesh Pot lipstick from MAC. I'm gonna deepen up around the edges. I'm going to top that off with the Diamond Lip Gloss from Anastasia. Oh yeah. 
And now I'm just going to mix some of the rhinestones together with some of these pearls and just apply them on the cheekbones, maybe a little bit on the forehead. All right, guys, that is the final look. I really hope you guys like this video. This is the longest freaking tutorial I've ever filmed in my life because of all of these freaking rhinestones, but I hope you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, this does not have to be specifically an angel look. You could use this for anything. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Don't forget to check out Amanda's channel. I will link it down down below in the description box and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. You know how when you work with rhinestones and you tell yourself ahead of time, I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going to knock it over. I'm not going to drop anything. Shit is everywhere. Mother F. Goodness sake.